They are turning in on you. They are accusing you, but truly it is their fault. They are turning in on you and accusing you, but truly it is their fault. There are people, I learned something beautiful from the life of Moses. I learned something awesome from the life of Moses. And um, while he, on the journey in the wilderness, his relation with God and his relation with the Israelites, Moses was a good man who loved the Israelites and he knew how to pacify God. He knew how to make God and, you know, uh, um, change his mind, even on his decisions. When I was reading the story of the Israelites, their journey in the wilderness, and when and how um, Moses was their leader and all of that, and one thing I, I, I noticed is, is um, it, it got to, to moments when God would tell Moses, your people are stiff-necked, they are a rebellious people, I will destroy them, your people, your people, Mo uh, and God kept addressing the Israelites as Moses' people, and when God is talking back, when, when Moses rather, is talking back to God, he always say, your people, they want you delivered, your people, he kept on reminding God, they are his people, even when God had said, points wanted to detach himself and say Moses they are your people you are the one carrying them on this journey and he will keep telling them he will keep telling God no these are your people these are the ones you saved he was a good intercessor Moses was a great intercessor there was one time in the book of Exodus chapter 32 and, and when, when God told Moses he said these are your people they are stiff necked they are unrepentant and they are rebellious. I'm going to destroy them. I will not let them enter the promised land. I will destroy them. And Moses spoke to God. He said, please, what would the Egyptians say? They are going to say you were not able to deliver your promise to them. You are not able to take them to the promised land. How can you destroy them? You will not fulfill the promise you made to your servant Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you destroy them, you would not fulfill that promise you made to the patriarch. The Bible says that, and God repented of his decision, and he told Moses, I will do it for you. For your sake, I will not destroy them. There are people who are great intercessors. They know how to turn the heart of someone towards even a rebellious people, even towards someone that is not deserving. They know when you have a, a, an intercessor that is pleading your case. So many of you, your relationships got destroyed because your partner confided to the wrong person. Your partner spoke to the wrong person about you and the people were like, nah, I can't take what they did. What they did is so bad, I cannot take it. But if they spoke to a Moses-like person, that person would have interceded on your behalf and said, please just give them another chance. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe they did not know better. Maybe they are going to do better the next time. I pray that God is going to place the Moses. You know, the Moses in this context is an office. God will place a Moses where you are not, where your life is being discussed. A Moses that will be able to intercede for you when you do not even know what is going on. I pray that God will give, send you a Moses in places where matters of your destiny is being discussed for him to speak in your favor, for him to intercede for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone that can speak for you even when you are not there, someone that can defend you, someone that can plead your case, plead your cause. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is sending you a Moses that will speak in high places. They will speak well of you even in high places. In the mighty name of Jesus, did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.